Needles are a thing of beauty, often seen as a projectile, but to others seen as a movement option. Today, I will go in depth on Sheik's Needles. This tool is one of the core reasons to why Sheik's neutral game is as good as it is, so take a step back and enjoy the video. When using neutral B, Sheik will charge up a clip of 6 needles. After the charge up, she can release the needles covering a big part of the stage. The closer you are to your opponent, the more damage they will deal, but at the same time, the closer you are, the less safe it gets, so prioritize spacing over damage when it comes to needles. As well as being able to perform needles on the ground, she is able to both charge and shoot the needles in the air. This creates a 30 degree angle in which the needles travel. Be aware that when charging needles in the air, you're fully able to jump out at any point given. Just know that this uses your double jump, so be careful when doing it. It might put you in a horrible situation. B reversing needles is fantastic in the air and on the ground. This is performed by going in one direction, releasing the joystick using special and immediately turning the joystick to the opposite direction of your initial direction. This can be performed out of a run, walk, and when standing. B reversing with needles has several applications. At low percents, needles become an amazing long range poking tool. At higher percents, it becomes a lot stronger since it puts the opponent into tumble. Many characters struggle a lot when facing a needle camping sheik as the projectile can completely shut them down. Therefore, it's extremely important to master the B-reverse needle for some matchups. In the air, needles also become very powerful in several ways. First off, needles can be used as an amazing movement option, but also for dodging, edge guarding, killing, getting back on stage, and my personal favorite, for moving around platforms. In terms of dodging, B-reversing changes your trajectory completely and this is very useful if you've already used your bouncy fish. For edge guarding, B reversing needles can quickly hit some blind spots under stages or quickly get you to certain advantageous spots. Me personally use the B reverse to snipe low recoveries like Fox, Falco, and Ruby. In terms of killing, Aerial needles can both gimp recoveries pretty hard, and also set up for bouncing fish kills off stage. A cool trick to getting back to stage was popularized by Mr. R in Smash 4, and thankfully it still works in Ultimate. This consists of dropping down from ledge, immediately wall jumping into a B reverse needle. This movement option should only be used as a mix up since you're vulnerable during the whole sequence. Pulling it off is extremely flashy though and might catch your opponent off guard. The last application for aerial B reverse needle is also the most practical in my opinion. Aerial needles are absolutely amazing for moving around platforms quickly. The speed she has when she's turning and maneuvering around the stage is already amazing, but with this technique I don't have words for how amazing it gets. Though B reversing has probably increased your movement options a ton by now, there is still one last method to make it even faster. It's called needle fidgeting. Needle fidgeting is currently shown on screen and is performed by very gently pressing down the shield button on your controller. This completely cancels out your needles without getting your shield up. Now why is this important? Well first off, all actions from a needle charge skips the shield animation so it simply goes quicker. Also, you're able to immediately use grounded moves out of needle charge, so if someone surprisingly pressures you during a needle charge, needle fidget into a jab for example. But the biggest application for needle fidget in my opinion, is the ability to bait out your opponent to thinking that you're going to use a B reverse needle, but you're actually going for a grab for example. Needles also have a few other uses, which I will go through in this video. For Krom and Ike, this move is an absolute nightmare, it's just hilarious to see them struggle. Uh, 
Needles neglects Bowser Tough Guy completely. This actually caught me off guard, I really didn't know, but it really helps in the matchup. Needles cannot lock, so don't go for that. Against some zoners, jumping and needling can really mess up their timings. Landing needles at high percents can lead into a tipper up smash. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and please share this video. If I had 300 likes on this video, I will and I promise I will make a chic montage. Other than that, I'll see y'all soon. Have a good one. Thank you.